obviously since everything obviously since everything's happened, have you had a chance to kind of speak to Carson since now you're taking these first team reps and kind of passing the torch there? Oh yeah, we got a we got a little dialogue. You know, he's still he's still there to help me. I'm I'm helping him in any way I can. You know, it's a new offense for, for him. So, um, you know, look injury injury wise, um, I'm not going to discuss that. It's between our head coach and and uh, the medical team. But, you know, look just uh, out here competing, and you know everybody in the quarterback room is doing the same thing, just trying to get better every day. Just talking to uh, or asking Marcus yesterday, just uh, last year, you remember talking about how hard it was for you to just get any opportunity on the field, even after practice and all that. You've gone from that to taking all the first team reps. How big a jump has that been for you, and, and what kind of acclimation period is that? Yeah, it's definitely different, you know, and it, but it, at, at the same time, it, it's good good for me, you know, as a player to get in there and get the reps, get that exposure, you know, get in and out of the huddle, see what's going on in the defense. Um, it's definitely very different than it was last year, and it, and it happened quick. But uh, you know, I'm 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 very glad to and fortunate to be getting these reps right now. When you go, when you practice, like you get the reps like that, and you go in, you're able to watch the film, dissect the film, watch it from the coaches. What is the benefit of that? I mean, it's huge. It's 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 watching yourself. It's seeing your decisions, your progressions, your progress. Um, it's a lot different, you know, watching someone else do it. You know, you, you can't really always see what they're thinking, but you can talk about it. But when you're doing it, you know what you were thinking. You know what you were saying. You can you can make those self-corrections. At this point, at this point right now, with the uncertainty of departure, have you started bracing yourself mentally that you may end up having a start week one? I'm just taking – yeah, hey, I'm just taking it a day at a time, you know, just one day at a time, one practice at a time, one rep at a time, you know. Um, just just trying to get better and keep competing. You know, that's, that's, that's all I'm doing. Is that hard to do, though, you know, I'm just we always talk about this mindset thing in team meetings. Frank is big on focusing on the on the picture, you know, zooming in on that picture. And right now we're in training camp. We just finished day four, um, and that's where we're at. So taking it one day at a time. How, how the first four days, how, first four days felt? How have you felt? You've done it. You know, just just getting your feet wet, getting back into the swing of things, getting into a huddle, like I'm saying, seeing defense, seeing key key coverage guys, and all that thing. You know, it's 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 been good. It's been, I'm getting a lot of reps, getting a lot of improvement there, feeling more and more comfortable every day. Um, you know, I just want to keep building and you know, con staying consistent. That's that's my biggest thing right now is I want to come out here consistently and have good days and keep stacking good reps. Has anything surprised you in terms of getting all the first two reps? What it's like to see the first two defense? Um, you know, they fly around. They're high energy guys, and you know, it's fun. And the, the competition level is always high, and you know, that's that's the thing about this team is everybody's always flying around and competing. So if anything, it's fun. It's fast paced. It's energetic, and. Um, no, I mean, just really just taking it a day at a time and soaking everything in. Think up in the last 24, 48 hours, have you had a moment to yourself thinking, wow, this is an unbelievable opportunity that I'm getting potentially throughout camp? I mean, we've been so jam-packed with meetings and camp and this and that and installs. You know, I, like I said before, I'm just focusing one day at a time, one one rep, one meeting at a time, and, and, and going from there. Right, prior to, you know, you started to work with the first team, had you thrown many passes to a T.Y. Or, or Michael Pittman Jr. or, you know, yeah, there, there, there's certain guys like Mike Pitt and uh, you know a handful of guys on the, you know, that I that I'd thrown to a couple of, last year, a couple of this off season. Um, not much with Ty and some of the other vets because usually Carson was was taking those guys. So, but no, now you know just mixing in and, and getting a feel with those guys and building that chemistry is huge. How long does that take? How long, how long does it take to get that to get that chemistry down with a guy like Ty? You had that deep ball to him. Yeah. Just a little up front, yeah. I mean, it's 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 different because you know there's certain plays you only you know you only get one shot at, you know, and and with a guy you don't have a lot of chemistry with, sometimes it's hard. But you know, Ty, we got great receivers here, and they can run under different balls. You know, some of that's on me. Um, so, you know, just hit him when hit him when it's called, and and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to getting more reps with these guys and, and building that chemistry up. I've seen you pull the ball the ball down a couple times. Is that just not seeing what you want down the field? Is that something you guys are working through with the film? We talk, uh, you know, maybe maybe it's pocket movement. Maybe it's somebody um, somebody looks open, covers up, moving around. Just you know, we've been working a lot on two hands on the ball, and ball security in the pocket. That's one of the big things Coach Milanovic has been harping on. So uh, maybe it's maybe that's what you're seeing. You yeah, like you said, you sit down with quarterbacks to see what they're going through. You sat down at lunch with you yesterday. Did you ask him any questions? Did you pick his brain a little bit? About say, say it one more time. Eberflus said he sat down at lunch with you yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Just because it was all the quarterbacks. Yeah. What did, what did you guys talk about? Did you pick yeah, I mean, we're on the same team here, you know, we're, we're trying to help each other out any way we can. Um, you know, it's not always, you know, you don't always have any competition. with your, Yeah, you're, you're competing in practice, but it's not like, hey, you know, we're not going to hide things from you. So that was really cool for, for Coach to do that and kind of sit down. And we talked through a couple, you know, basic coverages and different looks and 
and that's how it goes. So I, I appreciate him doing that and, and helping me out. Have you been able to talk to Frank for the last couple of days? Uh, briefly, you know, in meetings in the QB room and this stuff over Zoom, obviously, because he's he's uh, he's out of the building right now. But uh, yeah, we've had we've... his message to you. I mean, just take it a day at a time. You know, that's that's his message to the whole team, and that's what he's pushing. You know, focus on that on that picture and, and keep it that way.